Hey, what's up guys? My name is Liz. In this video, I'm going to review a cat that I have built before. The SGAC Gundam L Booster. If you haven't seen my latest video for unboxing and build this old kit, go check it out after watching this review. Alright, as we all know, this kit is a kit that Bandai has released about 24 years ago. And as I mentioned before, I have many complaints about this simple kit. The colors are not very attractive and the runners are so bold so they are very hard to be cut. And you can see here, the design is not really appealing, right? No wonder Bandai has remodeled the Gundam Geminus. Besides, the feeling of holding this kit is very bad. Many parts that are not good in terms of engineering, so they become loose. Especially for the shoulders, the side benders, and the backpack. For the articulation, the head is just okay. He doesn't have a neck joint, only the head that plug into a joint. So he can't do a giggity giggity move. The sideways movement was limited to this. And if it is rotated, it can only end there. Because it is held back by many things. For the hand, he can only rotate the whole hand a little bit until it reaches his backpack. Then, we cannot raise his hand far because of his poor shoulder design. The arm only has a single joint, so it can only be bent about 90 degrees. Then, the hand is just a polygon, so it is very uncomfortable to put in the accessories. It's a bit dragging. I think I will replace it with optional hands which are better than this, but we will see later. Then for the side binders, we can rotate it 360 degrees. It cannot be bent upwards or something else. It's a bit tighter than his shoulder joint, so it's a bit difficult to rotate it. And here, he has a gimmick to open his binders to show the weapon. Actually, it has details on the back of the binder but you can see for yourself the details are not very interesting and it's a bit difficult to customize then the design of the binders is not very attractive in my opinion it's not like the shape of a shield in general right for the torso we can only rotate it a little and he doesn't have an app crunch The front skirts are connected to each other and they can only be lifted up to this extent while the side skirt can be lifted a bit far. It's a good thing though. And of course, he couldn't possibly have a back skirt movement. For the leg, although the front skirt can only be lifted slightly, the leg can be lifted about 90 degrees. Then, the leg can be bent around this way. And he actually has a pretty weird double joint. I've never seen a leg joint like this. Quite unique, right? But effective enough to make the articulation better. So yeah, he can bend the leg quite far. A very good thing for an old kid. Then the ankle can only be moved up and down a little because it is limited to the foot protector. The movement to the side is also very limited because it is stuck with the light parts that extend down like this. For the backpack, it's actually a bit strange. The binder motion can close like this. Oops. Then we can move them up like this to turn him into a mobile armor that is not very mobile armor. <laughs> Sorry for this mess, it's because I cut off some of the male and female joints, so it ends up messing like this. The one that makes it uncomfortable is in the part here. Usually, we hold the gunpla on the stomach or the waist, right? Well, but the back is blocked by this backpack. And the problem is, there is a gap between the section and the back skirt. This is really not good to hold. Let me show you how he holds a gun. Put a weapon in his hand is a bit struggle. Like we just put the joint on the polycaps. It needs to be pressed a bit like that.
then the shield does the same. The beam cyber handle on the back of it cannot be used, since we have a beam cyber that is shaped like this, and they are connected with the beam part. So yeah, we know that this kit is an old kit, so it doesn't have a good design or a great articulation. Because not only I need to describing sharpening parts or something else that I usually do, I need to improve the proportion of this kit too. Maybe I will extend the legs, the torso, and the arms. And there is no doubt this kit is a very toyish kit, and I have to make him to be more attractive. So yeah, that is it guys from me. I hope this video will help you guys whether to buy this kit or not. Because indeed, Gundam Geminus has come out, and maybe then there will be a Gundam LO Booster revive too. And please wait for my next videos about customizing this kit, and I hope you will like the customization that I will make it later. Thank you very much, please like, share, and subscribe to this channel if you see something interesting from this video. And have a nice day, goodbye.